Howdy peeps, welcome back to another episode of Cookie's Fish Room. Norm here, for those who don't know who I am. Welcome back, it's been a couple of weeks since my last video and there's been a reason for that. I have been uh, finishing off my testing for this video and I will unveil the reasoning behind the testing and all that sort of stuff in a few minutes, you'll find it all out. Um, there's a bit to get through today, so I don't want this to be a long-winded video. Um, it is about columnaris and a new treatment plan that I have worked on and hopefully this will make it a um, easier disease to get rid of you know, for everybody. And um, I've actually focused this on meds and um, stuff that we can get quite easily in all countries without, you know, getting a vet script or, you know, trying to get it from overseas via mail, Amazon, eBay and all that sort of stuff and relying on the mail. So fingers crossed, everybody in every country can get this stuff, including Canada, um, the UK. I have done my research and it's this stuff is freely available in most countries, including most Asian countries. So guys, I hope you can get the majority of this if you need it. So let's get started on this. So what is changing with the treatment plan? So there is what we've treated in the past with using the sulfur-based salt um, and lower temperature all stays, but we are adding different, um, something different to it. So this can be added to the current treatment plan. And if added, I had over a 90% success rate with it. Um, but it can replace basically any sulfur treatment, um, that we, you know, that we use for sulfur. So if you're in countries where you can't get, you know, um, like, you know, your sulfur plexus, and I've got my little man here helping me out. Can you pass me the little white one, please, Mason? Thank you. And so this is in the US, this is more common in the US, what you will be getting there. And here in Australia, this is what we use over here called trisulfur. So basically this can replace these two things if need be, grab this. And used together with a sulfur-based treatment, it is unbelievably successful. So it does work with over something over 80% success without the um, sulfur, but use it together with sulfur, we are looking at over a 90% success rate with it. So you might be wondering, what is this thing that we are using? Um, I'll get my little man to pass me that the big jar, the big jar with the blue lid, yeah. I'm gonna call this stuff PP because it's almost impossible for me to, well, I'll grab that, for me to say it. Potassium permanganate. And I'm not even gonna try to say that again, so I'll just hold it up there for you guys to see. This is the stuff in crystal form. And now, there's two versions of this available. You can get the crystal form, or you can get it in liquid form. I do advise buying the crystal form, as it is the, the measurements that I recommend will all be based on weight rather than mils. So without further ado, this stuff here is fantastic. It will get rid of parasites. It will get rid of bacterial infections of all sorts of bacteria, including columnaris, all gram negative bacteria and gill flukes, you name it, it will help. This is awesome stuff and easy to get in most countries and most places. So all you have to do, I have got it written down here. It is, uh, just look at my notes real quick. <laughs> One gram per 10 liters of water for seven minutes. We want to use this as a bath and you don't want to use it more than once a day. So once a day, you will do one gram per 10 liters of water for seven minutes. Those 10 liters of water preferably will come from your tank so the, the parameters are the same. You don't want to mix up the parameters and um, you want to make sure the fish is comfortable from going from a bath, seven minutes, back to its tank again. You can add a pinch of it to the water of the tank, okay? When I say a pinch, I'm meaning less than a gram. You want to use probably... If I can get some on a spoon, I will show you. So the tank behind me here is 100 litres. Now, for a 100 litre tank, I would be using this much on a spoon. I'll just show you all what I'm talking about. Now, this is a very flat spoon. And that's all you want. Just a f not even, you know, a 50th of a teaspoon. Your water will stay pink 
for eight to 10 hours, which is completely normal. Now, you will be using this, the potassium, the PP, for approximately, it probably usually takes me about one to two weeks to see really good improvement. Now, don't panic if you don't see improvement straight away. It does take a while to kick in. Now, the other thing which I use now, and this is freely available in the US in particular, is called Wipeout. Okay, Sadie, our awesome admin in Cookies Fish Room, grabbed me some of this stuff and it has in it, um, I do believe it's got um, a sulfur-based active ingredient in it and this active ingredient does make a huge difference. So what I've been doing, combining this Wipeout with this potassium with the PP and I've seen over 90% success with it. Now, not just columnaris, but this has wiped wiped out things, all sorts of bacterial infections, um, external parasites, um, even injuries, it's helped heal. So things like you would use Marison 2 for, um, uh, you would use Marison 1, Marison 2, Trisulfur, Sulfurplex, all that sort of stuff. Now, just remember, it can, you don't need to use, if you're using those two together, you do not need to use the Sulfurplex or any other Sulfur-based treatment because it'll be Sulfur overkilled. You can use the PP on its own, all right? So PP on its own, one bath, seven minutes a day, 10 liters of water, one milligram, okay? Do it for as long as it needs for you to see improvement on the fish. Do not put the fish back in the tank un unless it's had two weeks of not just improvement, but no symptoms at all. You wanna know those symptoms? Head over to our first video and it's all listed there. Everything you need to know about Colnaris part one, basically. So if you can't get a hold of Wipeout, use Sulfurplex with it. Fantastic combo, again, 90% success. All this time, make sure you are using salt to the maximum amount, not a milliliter or a an actual granule more. Reason being, it will strip the, the electrolytes out of the fish. It will make its organs very fragile and it will kill it almost instantaneously. I have seen people recommending to use a lot more than what's recommended on the box. And they've had backyard experiments where this has worked apparently, and I wouldn't trust that for anything. So, I mean, if you want to risk your fish's life, go for it. But um, I presume the majority of people are trying to fix their fish and not kill them. So do not follow that instruction of using more than what's recommended. There's a reason why the manufacturer puts a recommended amount on the box and they're not stupid for doing that. So please stick to what's recommended. Um, at the same time, again, I'll just want to stress the PP can be used on its own. All right. So here's the deal again. PP on its own, one bath a day, one milligram, uh, yeah, sorry, one gram to seven, uh, 10 liters of water, seven minutes a day. That's just the bath, okay? Water taken from your tank, so the parameters match. You can put a tiny pinch of it in your tank. It will turn your tank pink for the day. It will be back to its normal self the next day, eight to 10 hours on average. So. That also helps. Add the salt, do not forget salt, that's really important. And then, if you can get this stuff here, follow the instructions and use that in your tank. Wipe out, if you can't get that, remember, you can use PP on its own. You can always use this with it. You'll look at 90% success without um, with a combo of one of those three together. You can use PP on its own. Now guys, let me know how you go with it. Um, if you need any help, jump onto Cookies Fish Room on Facebook. We will be happy to help you. Don't forget to check your parameters and um, let us know what they are, especially your GH levels. If you're struggling with your GH levels, always add a bit of this stuff in here. This helps your, um, your fish's immunity, calcium, and um, what's the other, magnesium fixes those levels up in your tank. And another thing that I would suggest is if you're suffering with columnaris, 
add some garlic into the fish's food, it will help them tremendously. So um, it will boost their immune, immune systems and help them fight the, um, that gram-negative bacteria. Thanks again for joining me on part two of Colonaris, the new and updated treatment plan. I hope you guys don't really have to deal with it, to be honest. It is an awful, awful thing to deal with. Uh, it can wipe everything out very quickly. So don't forget, one last thing, Colonaris has two different strains. One will show up with symptoms, the other will basically kill your fish overnight and you will have nothing there and you wouldn't have the slightest idea why it's happening. Just bear that in mind. So um, I know you'll think to yourself, how do I diagnose this? You really can't unless you can get a swab of it and get a, a microscope and yeah, unfortunately. So don't forget this stuff here. This is the magic stuff, all right? Get onto it. Have some at home. It will fix a lot of problems, including epistylus, external problems, you name it, it's there to fix it. Thanks again for joining us here at Cookies Fish Room. I'll see you real soon with another video. Bye for now.